Um, and there, there is a reason to, to, for my madness here. Um, but uh, because 2020 has just really been a bizarre year for all of us. Um, back in March, March 12th to be exact, um, you know, the church made a decision not to close church, but to close the offices uh, for obvious reasons. And then, um, you know, your, your executive committee and the board went to, get, uh, went to work trying to understand and put a plan together as to what we were going to do. Um, on May 20th, the board got together and they approved what we called the three-phase uh, three phase plan for, for COVID, which after this sermon today, I think we should uh, rename that the EDCC Shepherd's Playbook uh, for uh, COVID-19. <laughs> but um, as, as, we, as we all kind of dealt with this uh, in our own ways, you know, we, be, we began to really tire of being separated and being alone. And uh, in August, we put a survey out, which, you know, kind of solidified some of the thoughts that your leadership had that, you know, there are a lot of people that are, that are longing to get back in church, despite uh, everything going on around us. Uh, different people have different comfort levels with respect to uh, how they deal with COVID. And that survey told us that there was about 20% of the congregation that really longed to be back in church. Um, um, so our next step really was to take that information and, uh, and, and take that next step. So in September, uh, we decided to put together a town hall meeting where we had uh, great participation, a lot of good conversations on both sides of the argument as to whether or not we should be in church or should not. Um, and what we did is we came up with a compromise that said, we're not ready to come back to church as church was. Uh, we will get there, but we're not ready to do that at this point. But we are ready to open the sanctuary um, as a venue, if you will, to um, experience this exact same Zoom service that we're on right now, um, you know, in, in the sanctuary setting for those who just felt that spiritual need to be in in the walls of the church, uh, because it is important to some. Um, so following the town hall meeting, uh, the board did vote and we passed uh, that resolution to include what we called uh, phase 1.5, uh, which allowed for 50 people or less to be in the church to, to watch the Zoom. Um, at that same meeting, we had scheduled the October board meeting, which we just had last week on the 19th, uh, we had kind of charged the worship and music and the re-entry team, we call it, uh, to come up with a plan and a date for when we're actually going to come back to church. Um, and that date was established uh, as November the 22nd. However, um, before that happened, on September the uh, 2nd, I believe it was, the city of Dallas or county of Dallas, um, along with the rest of the nation, started to see the rise in, uh, in COVID, unfortunately, and, the, and things starting to spike. So on September the 2nd, uh, county of Dallas changed our standing from orange back to red. Uh, so it's important for everybody to understand that, yes, we do want to get back to church. We do want to get back in the sanctuary. Uh, but as shepherds, we are looking out for the health and well-being of our congregation and our flock. And we feel like this really does need to be postponed. And so we will be postponing that reentry. Um, and until, at the very least, the county moves back into a uh, the right direction and into a status of orange. Um, so Zoom will continue as it always has. As a matter of fact, with the 1.5 plan, Zoom was going to continue anyway. And the reality is we may do Zoom forever. We, you know, who knows? But uh, uh, e even when we're back in church as, as a regular church, we may continue to Zoom for those that can't be there on a given Sunday. So 
it, it really was important for me uh, to, I, I guess, clear things up, and hopefully that does clear things up for people that weren't sure where we stand. Um, there's a second reason, uh, and actually this was the primary reason that I wanted to get on the, uh, on the program today, uh, which Deb knew nothing about. Um, and and I, although I think the, the message I just gave is important because I think people need to understand that. But my, my real motive for, for coming on today is because this is, I, I'm not sure how, what to call it now. I don't know if it's uh, Clergy Appreciation Month or Pastor Appreciation Month or Minister Appreciation Month. Uh, the point is, um, October is set aside the month for us to, uh, to show our and, and voice our appreciation for um, our spiritual leaders. And so I'll close with just saying that I want to thank and, and make sure that, that Keith understands how much we appreciate him and uh, his leadership as our minister of music. I want to make sure that Pastor Allison also understands how much we appreciate all the things that she does for this church um, and, and, and how she shepherds us along the way. And then lastly, uh, Rev Deb or Reverend Deb, I want to I want to express to you, um, not just myself, but on behalf of the executive committee, the board, and I think I'm speaking for the whole congregation when I say how much we truly love and appreciate all that you do for East Dallas. Thank you. Yeah, that was unexpected. Thank you, Kevin. I really um, appreciate that. and. Uh, as um, uh, shepherding in and pastoring in the midst of a pandemic is something that they did not train us in seminary um, to know what to do, and so it has been it has been challenging. But the three of us are so grateful for the congregation that we have been given that we get to serve, and it is an honor. So while you appreciate us just know we appreciate every single one of you. And as we go to our, our time of sharing our prayers, that is um, a prayer of thanksgiving that we lift up today, that we are church, a flock that is guided by the love of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. And